What up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up? Hey, oh, hey, oh. Welcome we're to the show. We're back and we're live and we're back. We're back. I feel like that was completely unintentional and yet it back. happened. Did you all meet us on us? Yeah, we missed y'all. I know we. I know we were. Uh, we I mean, a couple guys, of days ago or a few weeks ago, but uh, bless you. Thank you. I know we ended up uh, going live a few weeks ago, letting everybody know that we were trying to get back in as as best as we could, but um, yeah, yeah. we didn't really have much to do. Nah. Because we had just moved. We'd just gotten settled. <coughs> you only get two. You shut the fuck up. They come in sets of three. Much better, you know, much better sound than that wet, flappy ass excuse for a burp. <laughs> anyway, we're back. Now that we're moved, settled in, we've had, you know, Galen and I have had a chance to explore the surrounding areas for new vape shops and stuff like that. And we found a couple pretty cool ones. And what's up, fool? How you doing tonight, Miss Chris? Oh, I literally just sent him a message over facebook because he literally said you do realize you guys have gone uh, live right i like yeah we literally it it, i don't know if it actually had us go live or if it had us set to go live like it's going live you should invite chris to join us today since he's not really just i mean i mean we're more than welcome to have people on here if they want, yeah. we got no obligations as far as I know. We need no. Mark. We need, yeah, we need Mark in Mark. here. Yeah. I actually thought about uh, suggesting to see if we get a hold of Bacon with Rick and see if we get him on here. That or ST. I told you that. Dude, I guarantee you Vic isn't going to join us right now. It's, it's probably like, you know. I told, I told I'm pretty sure by it. now, it's like four. Well, uh, yeah, I I know that. I know that because they're like, for God's sakes, ten hours ahead of us in the UK. Five. Yeah, Five. I, I can't. I don't know different time zones. I only know this one and my hometown of Illinois. I think it's like five or six hours. Yeah. Yeah, I told it's, you to tell Jake to message Mark. It's it's like. Nine a, it, after nine his time. He's probably doing his own thing. He's probably live on his show right now. But yeah, it's it's two o'clock in Scotland, so that's like four four hours ahead of us. Let's see. Two hours to midnight, two hours, yeah, four hours ahead of us. So I can guarantee Vic is not gonna be he's probably not awake right now. Oh yeah. That's a god given. I mean, I I ain't that worried about it. Unless just, the dude's a night owl, which he very well could be a night owl. We don't know. I mean, we we just started watching his uh, his channel. Hey, yeah, Chris, thank you for telling me about uh, vaping with Vic. That dude's fucking hilarious, and he I has know. done reviews of uh, RDAs that I have had and seen. Let alone let alone stuff that I want to. Same here. Chris. I actually, he, I was happy to see that he did a review on the Anakin Thermo. I have not been able to find that anywhere. I literally sent Anakin off their website an email and I haven't heard back from yet. I actually did say, uh, if I'm digging something, digging into something I shouldn't, I do sincerely apologize. Because I want that Anakin Thermo so bad. It's unique. I love the design of it and I love where they're going and I love where they're going with it. I mean, he also did a freaking. No, it wasn't him that did the Elder Dragon. It was uh, someone. Uh, else. Mike. Mike. Mike Vapes. Mike Vapes. That's right. Mike Vapes did a breakdown of the fucking Elder Dragon. 
I want one of those. And now that I've seen how it's built, I really and, want one of those. And how it actually works. Mm -hmm. I like die. I, I hardcore fucking want one of those. They look really, really cool. I Hell, hate my I, freaking camera right now. I still want one of those uh, muted uh, mut uh, mutants. Now that we saw how that was built mm -hmm. and how well it performs, that's oh, yeah. a nice that mute that mutant is nice, dude. Now that I mean, just watching someone build on it and giving us the lowdown of uh, its pros and cons and what the thing's capable of was a big help, especially from Vic. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, no. One of them that I actually watched was another R RTA, and it was Damn Babes Doom. Apparently, there is actually a band, I didn't realize this, a band in the UK called Doom, and uh, they've, they've been talking with Damn Babe about the logo to switch it up a bit, uh, how, of, of how it looks. The nice thing is, the Doom RTA is actually a mesh. But it's uniquely made because other than how the cotton sits in those little rings and the juice uh, and the juice actually just goes in, hits the cotton and wicks up. Well, since this one's mesh, it goes all the way through underneath the base of it and actually wicks up into the bottom of the cotton as well. So that way you're not getting a dry hit. It rises. <laughs> Let it rise. <laughs> I call you from your grave. Now rise. Push up, James. Push up on each on each of our cameras, and we'll fucking like have a hand, have a hand like right. Galen, okay. you gotta have a hand going up from his from his side on yours. <laughs> <laughs> No, they gotta have a hand like coming up. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> but seriously, Chris, come join us. Because I know you make your own juice, and this is the topic for flavors. Oh, oh yeah. Something. Oh yeah, we got uh, we found some really interesting flavors around here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out uh, tonight. If anybody hasn't noticed yet, I am running something a little different than what I'm normally used to. I've actually decided to switch back with something for a little more power because I didn't realize the coils that I had in my iJoy RDTA box were stainless steel. So with that being said, it wasn't gonna fire off on my AV. But the coils I had in that, I'm running in my Mutation XV5. It is top and side airflow. I can actually swap. I can actually adjust the airflow to where it goes into the coils from where uh, it actually channels down from here into the bottom of the coils, then up. And the mod I'm using is the Snow Wolf 200. It is a smaller version of the original Snow Wolf. But it is a lot more high powered, and the up and down and the wattage up and down uh, arrows light up, and they are touch and they are uh, touchable. So that's your adjustment for your wattage. You now they know. are real the finicky bruiser. as well. Can't forget the bruiser. <laughs> yep, gotta have bruiser. What's Jake run today? I'm flipping back and forth between uh, Redgrave and Loki. I, I keep getting, like, I'll take a long hit off Loki. And I keep, like, I got to get used to the fact that I've got a fucking, uh, the right battery in here now. <laughs> uh, did you go ahead and send Chris a link? He said, all right, link I know. me. I was, I was actually just about to. That's I, Okay. I, I, Kind of switching screens around real quick. Let me get. All right. Actually, I don't need, need to do that. I just gotta fucking open up my flipboard. All right. I figured you might have already done that while saying what you're running tonight. <coughs> I'll be happy to get me a desk so that way I can set my laptop on top of it and I'm not having to use my lap and it be so. 
freaking wobbly everywhere. You had an effect? Bruh. 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 Watch, watch the Sons of Anarchy. Okay. Oh, that's what. Okay, I was going to say, I heard gunshots. So is Sir Chris going to join us today? I sent him uh, an invite. What the hell are you doing over there, Galen? I don't know. You're getting all fish comfortable. today. I'm getting comfortable. I'll get comfy, big fat. Yeah, my man, my man. Bubbles for president. <laughs> I shared that and some dude literally is like, you know he's Canadian, right? And he'd be a better president than who's running and one that's in office right now. President right here. Ha <laughs> ha. We better hey, shut hey, up before we get demonetized. I was gonna say, let's not get political right now. No politicals. We, I was just, I was just trying to make it funny. I was just trying to make it funny about that. We, we yeah. don't, we don't, we don't do politics here. Galen, what? Get up. <laughs> that's that's when a fist comes from underneath Galen's screen, and he goes like this. Unless you're tired. What do the five fingers say to the face? Smack. Am I the only one with a fluffy beard now, Galen? What the hell happened to you? I decided to I decided to trip mine up so I can look nice when I when I, if I find a girlfriend. It's Mr. Chris. Hey. hey. What's going on, brother? How you been? Yeah. Andy Froze. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Not a whole lot, Chris. Lot I'm all right. Down. How's things down around here? Y'all get moved and settled in? Yeah. Took forever, but yeah, we did. Yep. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Who wants to start with flavors today? Mm. I will. Kick it. Would like to down yeah. south? Send it. So, what I got running tonight is something that I never thought in a fucking million years I'd ever be vaping on. What's that? It's called Surf. And the flavor is raspberry, dragon fruit, green tea. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was just raspberry dragon fruit. Raspberry dragon good. fruit iced tea, I'm sorry. Okay. Raspberry oh, dragon good. fruit iced tea. It is just fucking good. Like I can't lie. What are you vaping Me? I am vaping on one of these had for a while. Uh it is a brand called Excision. It is called Paradox on the Rocks. It's like a uh, iced blueberry or a blue raspberry flavor. Great, great. It's great. really good. Uh, through my mutation, it's got the. It's definitely got the great flavor with not a lot of ice to it. But it's really. It's actually really good. Surprisingly. You mean your Widowmaker? No, I'm running it through my mutation. The one that oh. I uh, put the coolers in last night. Ah, gotcha. So tonight I am vaping 
Johnny and Fresh. Oh, Tropical Sun. Strawberry. Pain. Lava. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. It's not real good. You taste the strawberry and the lava combination there. What you got, Chris? Um, I got a kiwi strawberry sweet tart. I've got the um, I got Vic's Elder King in this one. Speaking of vaping with Vic, <laughs> and this one's a new one that I've been playing with. It's um, uh, orange and blue raspberry. Oh. Yeah, I was actually getting ready to watch the uh, Strawberry That's the uh, one. Enzo one point on Bogan. Hmm. Uh, the Bonanza? Yeah, the one, that's, the one that's on YouTube is the the Bonza. B-O-N-Z-A. Yeah. That's the RDA from uh, Bogan. I know he's got an RDA and then uh, the RTA called the Blotto. It's, um... Yep. Uh, Denise has got one of those. I don't know if this camera will pick it up or not, but... Uh... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> it's kind of a velocity clamp. Uh, but it's designed to pass air flows on it, so that you can actually run. I'm, this is actually the one that I run on my stacked mech. So this is actually an eight wrap um, uh, alien. Oh. So when I've got it on the on this one, I'm running it at 225 watts. God dang! It takes that much to to heat it up. Shit! <clears throat> Holy shit, dude! Fuck, talk about a battery killer. <laughs> right? God damn. Good oh, Lord. yeah. It'll go through a set of molecules in about an in about 30 minutes. Holy shit. 30 minutes? Is that what he said? Yeah. Damn. Holy shit, Chris. Yep. Now, I have I can go through a pair of 18650s in 30 minutes. Oh, she's sad. Now, I haven't watched anything on the Bonzi yet, but uh, since you're using it and you've got that setup in it, let me ask you this. How's the, uh, since I know it's going to, I know a lot of the RDAs nowadays are going to have that little dome at the very top, near the top cap, to increase the flavor. With those aliens, with that wrap in that, uh, how is the flavor to it? <laughs> On the regulated mod, it's okay. It, it is pretty domed. And I forget the camera's backwards, but yeah. pretty domed. That's got a nice little dome on it. On it, so it's not bad. It's got it's got enough airflow to cover that. So But I usually run it <coughs> on the uh, on the bonds of mech, but I've got it in shorty mode instead of stack. I don't even remember what I have in that. I think that's Lucky Charms sugar cookie. Yeah. It's it's interesting. It's it's not great, but you know. It's whatever works. So, what I'm gonna do real quick, I want to pull up. Uh, That's just about. I want to pull up yeah. the uh, the Watofo Elder Dragon. So that, like anybody that doesn't know what the Watofo Elder Dragon looks like, so y'all can see it. So this 
idea. This is the Watofo yeah. Elder Dragon. Ooh. Yeah, it's this, actually real nice. This is the Watofo Elder Dragon. The build yeah. deck right here, the build deck goes, uh, the two on the bottom, I believe, are the positive, and the two on the other side are the negative. And the way it works is you would go from uh, bottom and you'd, you'd have your coil go in diagonal. Or not really like the coil going in diagonal, but you'd have one lead going to the positive, and one you'd want to make sure it loops over and goes like it's a really really interesting build that. It's a dope looking. It's freaking dope. Like I wa we watched uh, Mike Bates. Right now it is on sale. So it's fourteen ninety nine. The only place that we know where you can get it is, is Vapor DNA. That's honestly uh, that's. No, you can also get it on Watofo's website. And There's you can get it, yeah, and you can get it on Watofo's website too. But right now on Vapor DNA, which is where I'm at right now, okay, uh, it's on sale. So yes, I'm on Vapor DNA's website. And you said it was what? Fourteen ninety nine. Normal Damn. price was thirty nine ninety nine. But unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, even on yeah, Vapor that... DNA, it is out of stock. It sucks, dick. <laughs> But it's like it's a really, really dope looking freaking deck. And the real interesting thing is uh sorry, Jake, it didn't mean go to ahead. Get off there. The real interesting thing is there are two screws on the underside to where you can actually remove those uh two airflow slots. So I don't yep. know if you can remove those and then run it like that, or if you actually have to run it with those airflow tubes in no. there. It's just what. Yeah, you had to put the airflow back Mike in it, said. but that's so that you can position your coil. Okay, yeah. makes it easier to position it then. Because you got to remember, this can also you can also use this to squonk. Right. If you took the airflow yep. holes off of it, if you took these off, it would make it to where your juice would, like, if you decided to squonk with it, your juice would leak the fuck out. Yeah. By like a lot. But it's, yep. But it's, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> it is it is a nice little design. I do like the uh, the pagoda design to it, and as uh, I read up on it, the Tai Chi symbol on the bottom. Oh yeah, let me see if I can. But also, as Mike said, it is it is more for the yeah, uh, flavor chaser. I'll open it back up to a wide angle. Yeah, I know a couple of people who use that for uh, flavor testing for DIY. Yeah, you see right here. Uh, another really inexpensive right one here. that's a good one to use is the... Um, another one that's really good for flavor checking is the Wasp Nano. I have heard of that and seen it, but I have not checked it out. Well, I think there it is right there. See how small that is? Dear God. Tiny. Holy shit. Is it, that's got a smaller build deck than the uh, Watofo Elder Dragon, doesn't it? They're about the same. <clears throat> the only thing with this one is... is uh, Actually, I was using it last time I was on with you guys, and it, and it whistles. Uh, That's the only bad thing about it. But sitting there flavor testing, like if you guys are going to do the juice reviews and stuff, that's a damn good one to get. And they're cheap, like 10 bucks. Damn. Hell, let me open that page. Let me open that stuff and see if they've got them on but, uh, DNA. You got what, the 22 millimeter? <clears throat> that's what you got, Chris, is the 22 millimeter? As far as I know, that's the only one that the, that it, the Nano comes in. Oh, there's the Wasp Nano Squawking yep. RDA, and then there's a Nano RTA, and that one's a 23 millimeter.
Yep. And I've also got. I've he I've heard that it's good, but I've heard that it's to wick. So. I heard they got because what well, well, what else they got is they got this too. It almost looks like it has the same exact build deck. Yeah, it does. That's pretty much the same build deck. Yeah, because there's, there's these two. I was going to guess this is the one that you've got. Mm -hmm. It's yep. out of stock, too. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, they're out of... That uh, Vapor DNA is out oh, of California, damn. so I wouldn't doubt if a lot of their products are out of stock due to all this. And they're just having a hard time getting uh, certain things in. <clears throat> That's an interesting deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all you gotta do is just Google it. I have I have no clue where I got mine, which side I got mine, but. It's not fat. I mean, there's no fish. <laughs> After you told me about vaping with Big Chris, that was the first video I looked up because I wanted to see what he had to say about that. <laughs> oh, the the fat fish? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I've got on the squat. It's not fat, and there's no fish. Like, see. That's one of the, like, I don't have a squonk. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a squonk. I wouldn't mind getting one, especially if I got but the you fucking see Elder Dragon. How, how condensed that chamber? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'd, uh, now for me and Jake. I don't know if you guys ever saw the, um, You said you watched my video on it, so you saw the airflow on it. How it comes yeah. down and comes in underneath. Mm -hmm. So, it's got that little elevated build deck on it, so it's almost a postless. Oh, nice. Ooh. Okay. And then the airflow comes in completely underneath the coils. That's cool shit. With that being said, <coughs> yeah, there were people saying that. <coughs> Collision from the air on both sides going underneath the coils is going to make it rebound a little bit back than up through the coils itself to, to give it that turbulence around the entire thing. So that way it'll keep them a lot cooler, therefore increasing the flavor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that and I've got the Ranger Vape Aliens in it, so it's got some damn good flavor on it. <laughs> I've actually been, well, I'm so used to building my own coils, I actually dug through half my stuff to see what I had that had the coils that came with it. The only coils I have uh, were the ones that came with my widow came with my widowmaker and something else. Um, since the ones that came in with my widowmaker are triple fuse clappings, I've actually been tempted to try those out since that's what everybody else is using and getting so much better flavor off that. So I told Jake last night that'd be something we could do 
is have an RDA set up with a triple fuse Clapton and one that's set up for mesh and do a flavor comparison. I am kind of interested in doing that. that I've never mean. used mesh. I don't know anything about it. Uh, uh, just That's going to be real quick. The Zeus here, this is just a standard tank, but it uses mesh coils and the mesh lasts twice as long as any other coil that I've ever used. Even when the cotton gets all burnt and crusty along with the coil on the inside, you're still getting great flavor off of it. And I look. I now, I've used mesh in the in the, like a stock coiler, a sub ohm like that. Mm -hmm. I haven't ever used the mesh rebuildables. Is what I thought you meant. Oh, uh, that is that too. Um, if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna use one that's mesh, I want to get the Vandy Bank Mesh Twenty Four. I don't. Now, I don't really pay much attention to the mesh stuff. I know Vic's not a fan of mesh, but uh, he has stated that if you do, <laughs> if you do run mesh, you need to be careful because you're going to get a dry hit as bad as Satan's asshole, <laughs> and you'll know it too. Yep. <laughs> if you get that one, if you get a small little like if yeah, just, if there's just like one little patch that's dry and you see a glowing spot you got a you got a dry hit right there and you'll know it right off the bat that's fucking funny <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah so also thanks to this guy right here and you know the fact that he had an extra set of everything i am actually able to Build my own coils. I meant to let I meant to let him have those the last time I came up, which was what two, three years ago at least. Two, two. Yeah, I forgot to leave those with him, and uh, pretty much it's a it's a full setup. The only thing that we got to do is just get him an, uh, a good own reader, or he just constantly use mine. But it'd just be easier to get him his own yep. and everything. That way he can build out there and pretty much perfect coils on his own. I even got fucking 22 gauge Nichrome 80 wire. <laughs> Nichrome is usually the way I go, so I had I had a uh, another roll that I bought and I just let him have that one. Well, I mean, fucking considering that you got what like four rolls of fucking wire. Uh, I have what I besides that one that I had, I had two rolls of Nichrome 80. Then I bought a roll of Canthal uh, 22 gauge so I could run it on my uh, unregulated mods. Maybe give me an extra pack of cotton bacon. Yeah, I bought, yeah, at one of our vape shops, they had a sale going on. Three packs of cotton bacon for 10 bucks. I'm like, screw it, let me have it. Plus, I've still got that big ass bag of Kogan dough. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I was just really thirsty. <laughs> yeah, I usually use the firebolt because I I'm lazy. I like the little agulet ends on it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing I need to get though. Is I need to get uh, tweezers. You can find those in uh, wire clippers at any vape shop. Yeah, for like that. around five or ten bucks for everything. Well, I knew that. Yeah, just just make sure that they got the ceramic ends on them. You do not want to put metal on on it when you're heating. Oh yeah. No. See, that's the nice thing. I've got I've got the uh, ceramic tweezers multi tool, and that I love those things because I like to heat my coils up and actually just kind of press on the ends to make sure they're nice and compressed together I also I've actually last night when I was actually putting the coils in my invitation uh, I actually used I actually used those to scrape both coils at simultaneously and that worked like a charm I'm like okay 
I've actually learned a couple things from Ben. Along with uh, watching how you used your coily tool to cut the leaves. I'm like, I'm doing this the hard way. This guy's an, and this guy's like five five years ahead of me on that. Why haven't I thought of that yet? Because I put up, I usually put the leads in both <laughs> holes, and I'm holding it with my thumb to try to get it leveled in, snipping both hands. And this guy's putting it in one hole and pressing it down on the table, and then cutting it. Son yep. of a bitch. <laughs> yep. This guy's yeah. That's it. that bath mat that I use for a build mat. They just take it and push it down on it. It's soft enough that it doesn't deform the coals, so you right. can push down on it and then kind of pull up on the legs, and it just snips them right off. And they're yeah, perfectly right. even every time. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm definitely gonna have to start doing that. Another nice thing is the uh, little uh, wire brush pins like that mm -hmm. for when you're scraping your coils. Oh, the is that way you don't over scrape them and you don't get the little flecks of metal? Okay. Yeah, like five bucks for a set of three of them. You get, you get steel, copper, and silicone. But I or not silicone, fiberglass. Nice. Just don't use that when they're hot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amazon five bucks, man. Okay. Another another good investment is about twenty bucks for a set of these type of nut driver. Just got cotton on that one, but the ball type, the swivel. Oh yeah. And since I got these, uh, a single one of hex nuts. Yeah, I've I've actually got some of those little screwdrivers that are flat and Phillips heads with that got the uh uh little top that you can put in the palm of your hand and just rotate it like that. That's what I've got. Then I've got some of those multi-tools that's like a Phillips head, then uh, two Allen keys, and one that's just straight three Allen keys in different sizes, and I love that thing. Better than the Allen wrench. Yep, that's the set that that's the set that I got with the Coil Master set, like what uh, Jake's got. Alrighty, cool. I ain't got them. <laughs> I don't got them. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy in the house with all the rape gear. <laughs> and then for like the... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I've got right there. And then I've got the little multi-tools that come with things. I oh, love yeah. those damn I things. Got, I those freaking are, I love those. Oh, those are useful too. Oh yeah, those are real useful. Uh, I, I got those to the fucking boxes up here. Yep. Yep. A whole lot better than them little bitty tiny blue screwdrivers they used oh, to give you in the older stuff. Yeah, fuck them mm. things. I tried using those. I'm like, no, I can't do this. I gotta find. Something. I got a, I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> those little screwdrivers are so useless. Now I did, I did get one that was uh that had a. Yeah, I got, I got a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, when you get one of those, they're pretty good. The infamous blue. Screwdriver. You might. The only thing those are good for is, I'm sure you're gonna agree with me on this, Chris. It's probably just using those to repair eyeglasses when a screw gets loose. They're small enough to do it. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty much. Head, yeah. <laughs> My fucking glasses. They got flathead yeah. screws. I have not come across one that's a flat. I think I have, but I have rarely seen a flathead in one. It's always been the Phillips. Um, depends on what RDA you get, get them with. Because, uh, I want to say the drop dead comes with one of each. I think that's actually the two that's up here. Huh. Yeah. So that's the two that came with the drop dead. Because I had to change the uh, screws out in Denise's the other day. Okay. Actually, wait. Hold on. I, forgot. I got both my glasses up here. Hold on a sec. Oh, God. He's going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to check. These ones use Phillips. Oh, 
parody of shit. That's pretty rare. I don't think I've ever seen a pair of eyeglasses with Phillips in them. <laughs> They're dirty as fuck, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. I got all three of my glasses up here. Yeah. Two Phillips and one flathead. Good laugh. One. Nope, two flathead and one Phillips. These are my newer ones. Okay. Yeah, these ones are my old ones. These ones have the... These are my originals. These have the, uh, the shiny black metal. These ones are nice and matte. That and they look nicer. There he is, fuck too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fuck happened to my glasses, man. Letting them sit around and collect dust. Got a new <clears throat> key. I don't wear them. I, I hardly wear my glasses anymore. I really should. Yeah, I, I don't go anywhere without my glasses. I'm freaking blind without them. <laughs> I mean, mine aren't like a powerful prescription by any stretch of the word. Powerful. They're, honestly, they're so thin that I've still got room on the inside of the frame. They're that thin. It's just... Like, I don't have very good... Like, I'm, I'm near... Which one is it where you hit your the shit's blurry at, the, at a distance? Is that far sighted? Uh, yeah, far sighted. Not if far-sighted. it's blurry when you're up close, then you're near sighted. Dude, I'm, I'm fucking blind. <laughs> that means both near My, and mine far. are thick as fuck, and then I've got bifocals in them. T- I don't think any of mine are thick. Bifocals. I've got bifocals in them, and if I have to read something small, I have to wear these over the top. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I heard you do it the old fashioned way. Yeah. First, you like put it right up to your face. <laughs> that must be a really good I, book. What I want to get is one of those big. <laughs> I want to get one of those circle lights with the magnifier in the middle. Oh, yeah. Make it a whole lot easier building shit. I'd probably oh, yeah. Would. Especially if you use fucking micro coils. Oh, yeah. I'm actually uh. getting ready to Google uh, what, what a micro coil would be considered as. But I'm guessing anything that's a three and a half below would be considered a micro coil. Or even a four millimeter would be a micro would be considered a micro coil. James, you're a dirt. That's the biggest dirt here. <laughs> yeah, that would be Jake. <laughs> I was talking about you. Oh, screw you! Give me my title. <laughs> my title, Apparently- bitch. Hey, apparently he just handed your title to me. I'm derpier than you are. <laughs> I'll gladly take that. <laughs> I have a chugginator. Can't beat it. <laughs> yeah, a whole one gallon uh, freaking cup. It's more than a gallon. <laughs> That's what a that's what a gallon and a half or two gallons. Okay. Need to be hydrated? Grab a chugginator. Once you're thirst the right way with the chugginator no. today. Yeah. <laughs> be hydrated. Drink it, man. You won't be thirsty. You won't be hungry. Park chop and have a beer. Oh. oh. No, it's not even a full gallon. I thought it was more than a gallon. It ain't even full. It's almost a full gallon. 0.78, uh, 0.78 gallons. 
that's damn near a full fucking gallon. Yep. Might as well be. Yeah, that's that's a hundred. That's a one hundred ounce cup right here. And I, I can't bought see that it. for what this? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that big ass cup. Get those at seven eleven for uh, seven ninety nine. Okay. Jackson's. I've never heard of Jack. It's a West Coast thing. Got that fucker for free. Yeah. This is a promotional thing. We, uh, anybody that wanted one, which I was the only one, anybody that wanted one was given one, and we were supposed to like use them around the like around the city. It's not even a fucking city. It's not little. Little town. <laughs> well, Middleton, Idaho had less than like a thousand people in it. But like, we got we got them motherfuckers for free. I absolutely love it. Like, he he was just like, why do you have that big some bitch if you don't even fucking drink out of it? And I was like, because I never really have reason to. Not till now. Oh no, not till summertime now. I mean, hell, I don't. I don't even need anything that big. I've got a 64 ounce Bubba Bubba Growler. Yours is also metal. Yeah. And has a little, you know, carrying thing on top. This is straight. Fucking so who are you gonna fucking knock out? The, uh, <laughs> you? Why me? Cause. Get, get ow! Stop hit me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta drop it. No, you gotta drop it down below the camera. So it looks like it's actually fucking hitting him. <laughs> oh and this is why we make the show fun. But we do. Talk, babe, and have a good time. That's all we're here for. Not gonna lie, I love stainless steel, but god dang, does it heat up fucking quick. Oh, like the stainless wraps? Nah, just the stainless steel body on RDAs in, in general. They're nice, but god oh, dang, yeah. do they, but they heat up way too quick. Hell, I've got a... I've got a RDA called the Skyborg. It's just only it's literally a two-piece RDA, real uh, real thin uh, air intakes on each side, real tight draw. But the drip tip is literally connected into the top piece. So if you start if you use that, no matter what kind of coils you have in it, that whole thing is going to heat up real quick. You're going to end up burning your lips. It's nice and interesting, but yep. See, that's that's why on a lot of on a lot of mine, such as the Thirteen Heavens, Nine Hells, and both my twist and messes, they come with a steel drip. They come with a steel drip tip, and I instantly switch to the Delrin because it stays a lot cooler and it's a lot more comfortable. The last thing I want to do is burn my lips off off something. Yeah, I've got, I've got one old school one that's the drip tips made into it, but it is the, uh, it is the Delrin. It's all one piece top cap. And what is that that you just had up there? That's the um, Black Aria by LA Vape. Okay. It's an old one. <laughs> I picked it. I picked it up off of uh, Esig City, I think, for like five bucks. Damn. It was one of the first ones I started building. It's got the old T-type deck in it. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, I've actually never seen a build deck like that, especially when it's got the car going across it. Hmm. It's it's basically a velocity, but the top of it is the positive, and the bottom half of it is the negative. Okay. Instead of it being side by side. Huh. Almost kind of reminds me of Geek Get uh, Geek Vape's uh, Peerless. Oddly enough, I actually have one of those on my Vandy Vape Pulse. Yeah. Surprisingly, uh, earlier today, I actually did watch Vic's episode and review on the Peerless, and I was actually surprised to learn that that deck was actually made to support different size coils, from like the smaller micro coils to the bigger, chunkier coils, like your staggered staple and your uh, tri-fused Clapton's. I'm like, okay. Makes sense. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's not one that I know off the top of my head. I've probably seen it. I've watched most of his reviews. Give me, actually, give me one sec. There you go, Chris. 80 watt Vandy Vape Pulse Squawker with the Fearless on top. The whole drip tip is actually one whole piece put into the uh, main body. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is what I was. T-type. The Whoa! How long it is? Hello. What the fuck? That's interesting. Holy. That goes straight down, and and that goes straight down. That goes straight down into the five ten, and then the bottom of it, then the the silver ones on the bottom are connected directly to the deck. It's a T-type velocity. It's what it's called. That's interesting. That's dope. I have never seen a deck like that before. <clears throat> and it's got what's called Kennedy airflow underneath it, so oh, the, the, the airflow comes up directly underneath the coil. Yep. But it comes in so low. If you even if you even barely over on it, it just comes flooding out the bottom. Yeah, I don't... I've had quite a few bottom air flows, and I know how that is. Even if you if you overdrip it, you're pretty much up shit proof without a paddle, literally. And on those bottom air flows, it is easy to overdrip them. That's It'll flood so fast. <laughs> yep. Well, that's what I like about, one of the things I like about the, the fat fish is the airflow comes in at the bottom, or goes into the inside at the bottom, but the top of it is where it comes in on the outside, so it doesn't leak as easy, but it's that bottom airflow, or almost bottom airflow.
an interesting looking RDA. But uh, <laughs> what do you guys think about uh, think about this? I've been seeing that, but I haven't heard anything about it or watched any reviews on it. Can uh, maximize my screen see if we can get a picture of the build deck. Fuck. Yeah, it's a little MTL. About the long. Woo. Damn. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna it's have not... a real tight uh, draw to it. But pretty much, it's kind of like it's kind of like a uh, smoking a cigar. You just inhale it through your mouth. Well, it's be kind of like smoking a cigarette, actually. You inhale it through your mouth, and like that. Yeah, I'm still scrolling through Vapor DNA to see their uh, their <laughs> selection of squonks. I like my straight, direct, direct along. Yeah, I haven't messed with MTL. There's a couple of them that look kind of neat, but <laughs> it's not really been something I've been all that interested in. Right. There's your, uh, there's your Vandy Bait Pulse. Out of stock, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the mod or the RDA? Because there's like three different versions of the RDA. Yes. That doesn't answer my question. Okay. Yeah, I've only got the 80 watt pot on. I need to upgrade for a little more power with the 90 watt. Yeah, that's what I've got. Is the 90 watt 21700? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what mine came for up to is the 21700. Oh, but no. I can't remember if it's charged or not, but I actually have it. <laughs> I actually have it. Oh damn! Oh, that's look, at what I just, look, look at what the fuck I just came across. Oh, that's a 2700. Shout out! <laughs> Shout out! Yeah, the Nada. Yep. I do like that one because it. Oh, as I don't know if you can see it there, Jake, or not, but like I told you, where it says not another dripping atomizer, RDA. That's why I like it. Shout out to. to Vegan. Vegan, yeah. He has, uh. He's got like. Three, Fucking out of stock. <laughs> he's got that. Another one. And the, uh. Oh. I can't remember. I can't remember what the other one is. I think it was by, uh. Tiger Tech. That is the one by Tiger Tech. Okay. Fuck. There's another one I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of. There's another RDA. The EFC. Oh yes, that's what it was. Bottom top something. Bottom top fat cloud or something like that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta remember, I'm just looking at squonks right now. Jack knows I'm not going to shut up about it, but after we watched the video for the meeting, we both decided that that's going to be the best one for walking. Oh my god. Yeah, 
Yeah. I just passed that some bitch too. <laughs> Jesse Mike's video for the uh, the new Hammer of God in the Valhalla ah. Forty One. No, I have not. I've only watched two of Mike's videos, and that was for the uh, Andy Big Matto and is. the Elder Dragon. That, yep. Og vape, vape thing, BTFC. I think, yeah, I think you'd be right on that. Uh, bottom top, that cloud. Bottom, top, flavor, cloud. That's for bottom airflow, top airflow, flavor chasing, oh. and cloud chasing. At least that's what the official description or the, the right the given description. That may be what it is. I was just going from what he said a couple of times. That's probably his description of it. Yeah. Mark. Right. Mark, if you ever watch this, I want to get a couple of your fucking RDAs. <laughs> and throw in the bulk while you're at it. Because who doesn't want a big fucking tank? <laughs> Give us a wrench. Yep. <laughs> I still have yet to understand what that even means. I have been bugging him about that. Hi, uh... Since you're, since you got that held up, how are you enjoying that, Chris? Well, the bulk is awesome. I fucking want it's that. It's really good for... I know it's also one hell of a of, of the two, really Of the two that I have... Of the two that I have, the bulk is probably, yeah, they're probably about even, really, because the, the Brunhilde and this one are probably about even flavor-wise, which is pretty good for this one, considering it's a bottom coiler and the Brunhilde is a top coiler. Right. I actually have it broke down. I was cleaning the coils and the, the tank out of it today. Oh. See, it's got these little stainless steel cables that pull the juice up to it. And then basically it's an RDA sitting on top of a tank. Right. Yeah, I do like the fact that, that uh, those cables actually do wick up the juice a little bit, but it really, or from what I've heard, it actually really, the, most, the biggest part is actually when you tilt the pod is when it really gets tilted up. But I do like the fact that the juice will slowly creep up. Those yeah. Cables. That's yep. what I like about it. And, it, and I, another reason why I like those styles is you're not putting the cotton completely in the tank, hitting it like two times and getting a dry hit and setting it for about an hour, waiting for the juice to soak up the cotton. Yep. The only downside to it is it's, it's quite sizable. <laughs> I mean, this is the tank. That's an 18650. Oh, okay. That is a beautiful comparison. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did James go? He just poked it out of nowhere. Uh, he probably got off for the night. 
I don't know, it is 11 o'clock. He's probably tired. Yeah. But who knows? All right. Let's jump back up and have a vamp shadow. Yes. <laughs> Fucking Vic, man. He's about as crazy, if not more, than Fagan. I will say that. <laughs> I liked watching his show. Yeah, that that shit was funny. I love how well informed he is because he really he's broke like down the history and what changes have actually been made to certain tanks, RDAs, RTAs. I love that. Take Anakin, for example. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, he, he does, uh, he's really well informed. If you watch his live shows and stuff. I missed, I missed the one that, uh, you're watching. It didn't register to me until, until I realized that, uh, what was going on. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, that's really good. And then, like, his, uh, what's up and, um, Hump Day updates those are, are like news programs on things going around, and he, he covers everywhere. He doesn't just cover the UK; he covers here. He covers others, mainland Europe. Oh, nice! So it's it's really interesting to watch and to stay up on what's going on everywhere. All right. Huh? That is pretty cool. Oh yeah. I don't know how many times I'm always checking element maybe to see what they have in that's new. Mm. A lot of disposable. Yeah, I, I check. I check like Ranger Vape like once a week and then you know start to cry when I see the prices on the stuff they have <laughs> hey, they got the Orion I think I'm definitely gonna have to get me a bottle of that uh Paradox on the rocks for myself before I end up taping all this out, Jake. Cause that's cause that shit is I mean, right now it's delicious through this uh mutation V five. But I can only imagine I'm I'd be ended up trying it on all my different RDAs to see what the flavor difference for the profile is on it. I mean it's good. I love how you instantly get that great flavor. Mm -hmm. Then as it just settles you get that nice smooth ice. I've got a smoky as hell in this room. Oh, it looks like a minor, a small two-man Bob Marley concert. <laughs> like, it is legit hazy in here, and there is no airflow whatsoever. Yeah, it's a little bit hazy in here, for that matter. <laughs> My God, Chris, your room is better than mine. I'm surprised you were able to get it that fogged up. <laughs> yeah, the room I'm in is a little bit too big. Oh, some some of the stuff I got, some some of the things I got, I can fog up this room pretty good. 
<laughs> that Brunhilde will do it on, on fresh cotton. <laughs> Man, if you want to talk, if you want to see Vic vape out his room, uh, watch his video for the damn vape <laughs> doing RTA. RTA, my God, he's got that thing whipped, whipped up so good. He's just like, I mean, like five hits in a row, no dry hit, just chucking cloud after cloud after cloud. It's like, damn the vapor off this. I'm going to open my room. Just stuff along those lines, but he just like. Like literally, I think he hit it like five or eight times in a row, not a single dry hit, and it's a mesh RTA. I'm like, God go. dang, dude. Yeah. Here, here, here's a here's a mod for Galen. Oh shit. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I should have known. I love the Gelly, man. The Gelly's always been my mod. I've got a. I don't know how many mods of them of theirs I have, but once I saw this, it's like, oh my god, I love the design of it because it almost literally looks like a a GS Legend, and it. <coughs> yeah. I yeah, actually, that one's a Sigeli. Oh, you got the Kronos. The Kronos. Nice. Yes. Surprisingly, um... Actually, it's the Shakira. Shops. Not... Okay. I say, surprisingly, one of our vape shops just right up the road actually has those in stock. I actually found me a pink one. I'm like, yep, I'm getting me the pink one, because why not? Yep. It was just the only thing I could find that was really cheap that the bulk didn't overhang. Right. Because it'll actually hit a 28 mil. <coughs> Probably a real damn cool. I think I got it off of... I think I got it off of Element for like 28 chipped. Nice. They're not expensive. Now, Element's got some good prices, I will say that. I have been seen on Facebook. Uh, no, I, I have a follower of, of them on there. That a lot of people have been hating on Element Vape. Yeah, they had some some um, some issues with their site when they up when they upgraded to the um, the age the offsite age verification thing right. that they do. Okay. It, it gave you couldn't use your phone to do it for a while, <clears throat> but uh, actually, I think I got it from uh, Esig Esigity, which is the one in Hawaii. I think that's the one I got it from off their clearance rack. Nice. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have. I think I do remember hearing of Esigity, but I've never. I've actually never. Uh, been to their website to check them out. They were a sponsor for Fagan for a while. I think I remember that. <clears throat> yeah, most of Fagan they, stuff. They used to have pretty good prices. Shit, I wouldn't mind having a fucking sponsor for stuff that makes two of us we were honestly like going to try to talk to um one of the vape shops that we have up here it's called inline vape they're really cool uh galen was actually hoping to get a job there uh but there's we don't know what's going on with it right now because nobody's gotten back to him about when he should go in yeah uh one of the, I want to I want to call Jake that works up there a manager, but of course he, uh, you know how managers usually are they're always traveling all over the place. There was like thirteen to fourteen different stores up around where we live. He could be in he could be in this one one day and the next day be two hours away training someone else. So yeah, with him being he, real busy, it's hard telling. He's man he manages four stores. 
but uh no, we were hoping to you know talk to them see if we could get some sort of like a partnership or a sponsorship thing going on with them but uh we don't know when he's going to be you know when he's back in the shop he's such a busy guy but uh another place that we were going to go talk to is called your vape <coughs> really really cool that's where i got my surf from uh the guy that owns that his name's pat that like that's his store that's his shop like we don't have we wouldn't have to worry about any like higher ups or anything like that because that's pat you know but i mean like even with you know me and him talking like just normally like, we've got a, a fucking rda idea that's RD, bad. an rdta idea and uh like we don't know who the fuck would build it because it, it's got a, a really 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 wonky design to it <laughs> i'm gonna cut you off right there jake i finally actually got an email back from anakin it, it says hello with a little smiley face thanks for your email due to our thermal rd RDA tank has been discontinued. We recommend our new Ares 2 MTL RTA tank. You can also build the wire and use it more convenient than the RDA tank. And they actually sent me a fucking long. <laughs> they actually sent me a link to a, to the YouTube channel uh, for a review of the for the Ares 2. That damn thing wasn't even out that long. <laughs> and it's already fucking discontinued? Well, uh, I think that... I did ask if it had been discontinued, but I wasn't for sure if it might have just been out of stock. But, uh... I think... Actually, let me YouTube that real quick. See how many years it was. You got to remember in, in the vape stuff that a year is max life for most production runs. Right. Yeah, uh, that's true. That Anakin Thermo that we watched, Jake, was two years ago. Damn. Yeah. I thought it was newer than that. I figured it would be when we found it on Vapor DNA, and I was like fanboying over it. Like, oh my god, I love this. Oh well. I give them props for, I know that they're probably busy with other stuff and coming up with two designs. I do give them props for actually getting back to me about that. I do like the fact that they did tell me about the Ares too. I actually have seen it, but just like uh, Chris said, I don't know if I can stand doing a mouth to lung. I, yeah. like the, I like the wide open airflow of a direct lung head. Yep. The Aries is the one by Phil Bissardo and the Vaping Greek. Okay. And they've been they've been around for a long time. I don't know why, but one part of my freaking I think I need to switch out my coil and my Valerian. One freaking coil keeps burning. Oh. oh, speaking of your relator, Jake, I actually did find that. I think it, I think it was on almond vape or uh, vapor DNA, but I actually dug down and looked at it. We're right about two things. The spiral is made for a boosting flavor. The standard pen that goes underneath the coil is, of course, made for wide open. And the wavy pin is a balance between flavor and cloud. Hmm. So there's your answer for the wavy pin on what its capabilities are. I don't remember which one I got in there right now, to be honest with you. You had the spiral. Do I? Yes. I'd have to open the fucking case up for it. You check. did run the wide open pin for a while. 
then you decided to switch out for the spiral to get more flavor. I thought I had the plug in there at one point. Mm. Oh well. <clears throat> No, I think I gotta switch that coil out. Or I gotta fucking look at it real good to figure out why it. You may have a one of the one of the cores that maybe broke on it, causing it to be a different uh, ohm than the other one, so it's firing unbalanced. Or it I could have. just simply be a grub screw that's not tight enough. I have had that happen before, where. Uh, it, on a standard on a standard tank where the ohms start jumping all over the place usually it's a connection usually it's a connection issue within the uh, uh, wires on the on the I, bottom side it keeps revolving like before it was it was this coil right here that was giving me problems and then when I just hit it it was this one. Yeah, Steve, my uh, out tank's been doing the same thing. I wonder, if, I, I wonder if it might be the cotton in it. Sometimes it is maybe a little too packed in some of those coils. Maybe. And it's not, and it's not allowing proper, uh, not allowing the juice soak up prop, properly as it would all the way around. And you can see all the, you can see all the bubbles at the top, right above this coil right here. Oh yeah, I, I did see that. I have noticed that. Hey, look at that. Look at that one fucking, one coil. There we go. Lots of smoke rings. Look at the amount of, look at all the bubbles above it right there. Look at all those. Like that's, that ain't normal. That's, that's a lot of bubbles up here. So I'm just gonna go off on a limb and say I need to change out that coil. I just need to get into the box and I just need to get in the box and pop a new one in. You see, I lowered it down to 50, and I haven't had any fucking problems with it. Weird. Like, ever since I got the fucking 21700, and I put it in, I was running it at the normal like 60 to 70, you know, 65 to 75 watts. I kept like, the fucking power it puts out ridiculous, but now that I've got it down. Still good. I, I, I popped it up to the 70, uh, the 55, and that was the almost a uh, three second hit. I'm afraid to go fucking further. Yeah. It's honestly surprising that, uh, so, uh how, I, I will state this. I know Vic likes to have his, a lot of his coils at a certain spot. It impresses. I've been making those, like, what the fuck facing when he says that he's going to crank it up to a wattage that he doesn't like to go to. Like, if he runs it, if he runs a certain coil at a, 85 watts, he's like, he'll always say, I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna crank this up to like 130 and see what it does. And he'll do it and hits it, and it's just perfect. Like, good lord, dude, you're pushing yourself, man. <laughs> he's done that on a lot of his videos. Uh, I think he did that on the mutant. He did. What did he crank it up to 150 or two? 100. 30 to 150. It was 130. 
Yeah. And that thing still was chucking it cool and was performing nicely. Like, good lord, dude. Started off about 70 to 75, I think, and cranks it all the way up to 130. Like, fuck. Of course he is having to. Of course he is rescoring and redripping before he does something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at when he does some of the high-powered mods. He's actually got a an old goon one five that he can actually run up to like three hundred watts if he has to. But he hates doing it. God Almighty! Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I. That's another thing that surprised me is he literally has that goon and he'll literally state that the flavor is better if not the same for that goon uh jake what rda one that he said that it actually beat out the goon in flavor just a bit can't remember i was and stuff to eat. I'm like, wow, that's actually depressing to hear that. Because <laughs> I know the dude is good. And to hear him... Consider it... Say what? And, and considering how expensive the goon is, if something that's, you know, $50 or $25 or whatever is, is got as much flavor as that thing does, because it's a $200... RDA, or it oh. was when it's new. God I think you can damn. pick it up for like a hundred now, but still. That's an authentic good right there. In that yeah. case, that does come as mine is a clone. Yeah, because you only got yours for like twenty-five bucks. Yeah, and it didn't have the uh, saber tooth with the G neck to it. It has the arm got like the five pin symbol on the side. But that tells me that mine actually is a definite clone, man. Hey, it still works. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know for sure how much they are now. I just know when they first came out, they were butt-ass expensive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is nuts, dude. I'd say, a, I'd say another mod. I decided up. to put it back together. <laughs> nice. I'll tell you another setup that I think was expensive back in the day, but are like really rare and hard to find now. If you get lucky enough, you'll get a caution on your leg, and that's the tugboat. Hell, that I know for a fact that RDA just by itself was like 150 bucks. Now, for the mod and that whole setup, you're probably looking at about a $250 setup. Back when that came out, I might be wrong on that, but I know for a fact Tugboat was back then top of the line. Yeah, you can get a well, you can kind of get a Kennedy for that now. I remember the Kennedys. I used to have a, a version one. It did have the bottom airflow, but it wasn't an old bottom airflow. It had it had that like like uh, that two barrel design on the inside of the build deck. You have the you have the main airflow yep. intake, and when you pop the cap, it had those two barrels on each side that the coil stood above. That was the that was the original Kennedy I had. I love the damn thing. They're just too easy to overdrip. That they are. So I went ahead and pulled this up because I know I've been talking about it all night. <laughs> Try it not to. But it's it's so beautiful and the concept of it. I just I'm about as well say I. I'm oh, that's a. Uh, uh, that's the mutant. That's the mutant. Yep, I have Andy Bain. Yeah, that's uh, twisted four twenties. Yep. Yep. I love those unique designs like that. 
and that's, that's, that's a three piece fucking RDA. You know, it's got the the top cap, it's got the the airflow section, and then it's got the build deck itself. Like yep. that's that's the first time I've ever actually seen a fucking three piece RDA. And the most interesting thing is, Chris, those screws for that build deck are backwards. Oh yeah, that's that's the vertical one where he ripped off the Jay Hayes. Um, uh, Five hundred two. Cascade or not cascade the the squonk in it. Yeah, the pin right here in the middle. Yeah. What I find. Well, he didn't exactly rip him off, but it's. What I do like about that, Chris, is uh, when uh, Vic was actually reviewing that, he actually showed down that little barrel for the spawning piece, and he noticed that it looked like there's like a little ball bearing in there. And I told Jake, that's actually a really good idea because it's like a sucker rod. And what I mean by that is down south, uh, I'm sure you've got them down there, oil wells. The long rods that go on the ground, they've got a little section that is open all the way around with a, with a uh, steel ball bearing in it. When that rod comes up, it's going to open up. That ball is going to go upwards, rele uh, allowing the oil to pass through. But when it goes back down, that ball is going to sink at the very bottom of that rod, allowing the air and everything to push back down and just go up and down like that. As a sucker rod, so it's got those little holes up top that yeah. allow the juice to go back down, but there's still going to be juice at the very top because nothing. There's still going to be juice in that center barrel where the slug is, but not allowed to anything to go past that barrel. I'm like, that's actually a pretty genius idea because it allows you to get more juice on the coils and in the build deck to stay there than what some of your normal squonks are. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah. a pretty cool fucking concept. It really is. <clears throat> that's that's honestly a, uh, an RDA I would not mind having. Right. I told Jake that I know I could have won what twice, but that would be our one. That'd be our definite one RDA in the long run. Just because you can put, just because of the stuff that you can build the coil vertical, you can put those little tubs right at the top there, and that's just going to go straight through that top. God, I love this fucking flavor, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's such a good flavor. Your uh, hometown heroes? No. My surf. Ow. I say, I know you killed off the bottle, but I didn't know if you had any left to at least stay for tonight. <laughs> Oh yeah. There's... What's the flavor profile on it? Raspberry dragon fruit iced tea. Ugh. Really good. It, like I didn't think I'd like. I could kind of do it that. Got the iced tea. I didn't think I'd like it because it says iced tea on it, and I was like, I'd rather drink my tea than vape it. And look where he's at now. He's actually enjoying it. But <laughs> the flavor of it, like it's got more of a raspberry. <laughs> like it's it's. It, like up front raspberry, like hardcore. You, you taste the raspberry, but then as that dissipates, you get the dragon fruit, like the subtlety of the dragon fruit mixed with the raspberry. And then, like as it dies out, you get the dragon fruit. I fucking love it. Like y'all know me and my dragon fruit. I fucking love dragon. Oh, fruit. I know, I know, dude. You go, you go, uh, bamboo <laughs> over dragon fruit. It's such a good fruit. Like it's one of the most underappreciated, like. Fruits out there, it's delicious. <laughs> I've got a couple of recipes that use it. I've got two different ones. One's a bit more key and one's a bit more juicy kind of kind of flavor to it. See, I wouldn't mind. It like, plays good with like peaches and <laughs> I 
You have my attention. <laughs> like, like, no, like, what I would love to do one of these days is just, like, you know I love dragon fruit. Like, come up with a flavor combination that you think I'd really, really love, because I love my dragon fruit, I love strawberry. Like, come up with the flavor, I'll flip you our address, send us the bottle, and we'll do a review with you in here with us. Like, I'd, I'd be I could all, probably do something like that. I'd be all down for that. That, you know, I know we don't get a whole lot of viewers and everything, but the viewers that we do get would be like, oh, shit. Like, I, you, you sell your stuff, right? Uh, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, right, right. It, it, it's illegal. <laughs> yeah. Now I, I I can I can gift you some kind of thing um, on it. Oh yeah. And, and I, I can kind of explain more of that. Like I'm, I I can message you on where the where the legals run on that one, but I can't I cannot sell you anything like that. Oh, no. no. And right. technically. You know, as far as it goes, I can't sell you anything with I can't I can't give you anything with nicotine in it. I don't like even that. That's the thought. I don't even do much nick. So I really don't care. But I mean, like, no, like if you've decided to like get it's to just, the point where you'd be a, a viable and a credible, you know, like source that like eventually I'd have your stuff in a shop. Yeah. I, I'm not pursuing that route personally. I'm just mixing because I, I love mixing. It's a lot of fun to me. It's really relaxed. So I just mix for the fun of it. And I do the video on, on recipes to help somebody else who's in a situation where they, they can't go out and buy flavors. Right. With the way things are right now. Right. But uh, my videos are targeted to people who, like if you guys decided you wanted to mix, you could watch my videos today and get a an idea of what you're doing. If you jump straight in DIY or die videos, there's a learning curve that he's come up for the advanced mixer um, for somebody who's already been doing it for a while. And, and I want to, being only been doing it for like a year, that's my goal is to teach somebody who's just now coming in through either choice or necessity. Um, <clears throat> the very, very bottom end basics is what I want to put in my videos. And then do a few recipes to throw out. <clears throat> yeah, no, we'd fucking like, like you'd toss up a bottle to us and, you know, we'd be just like, hey. If you guys like this, go check out his channel. Learn how to do this stuff, you know. Oh. Yeah, I, I can, you know, send you a few flavors to test out. You know what I like. Like, I'm, I'm getting real good <laughs> reviews off of the sweet tart. <laughs> that, I, that I just did recently. Speaking of flavors, uh... I know you. Ju I know. Besides the uh, fat fish that you went over, the other video I actually watched that I uh, heard I check out was the. Uh, I think it was the uh, Friday the Thirteenth flavor. You said it had kind of uh, a little bit of a nutty flavor to that after you mixed it up and you had to and you had to let it sit. How'd that one turn out after you let it sit for a bit? Uh, hang on here. Oh. The, uh, the thumbnail was the black cat. Oh, that's the RY4. Um, it's it's pretty good. It's um, RY4 is kind of, sort of, but not exactly a tobacco flavor. Um, but it's more of like a caramel vanilla with with kind of an earthy undertone to right. it. Right. So it turned out pretty good. Um, 
I make most of it. Oh damn! So. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, because I know that after you mix it up, you, you're you're thinking that it had a nice little flavor, but you'd have to let it sit to really let everything combine and get to know each other after about a week or two. So I figured. Yeah, it takes a minute on, on those. Yes, I mean, you got to remember the stuff that's in the store is like six months after it's mixed or it ever gets right. to a store. Right. And then it sits there on the shelf for another month. That, that's that's kind of the downside to DIY is the fact that there's not a whole lot that you can mix up today and vape today. Right. I, I mean, I kind of, that's, I was just curious on that because I kind of figured since, it, since you're doing it nice and fresh and letting it sit for a couple of weeks and let it aerate, it have a real nice, probably nuttier, caramely flavor to it. Yep. Yeah, it's it's got some really nice uh, tones to it. Um, not my style for an all-day vape. Right. But it's, you know... But I kind of go back and forth between different flavors and different things. Sometimes I'll do like the creamy and the custards and things like that. And then sometimes I do fruits and, and um, you know, candies and cookies and whatever. <clears throat> right. How do you think, how do you think a, a dragon fruit sweet tart flavor would turn out? Probably kind of the um, like the dollar store Skittles, uh, um, just dragon fruit by itself with the sweet tart. It, 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 I don't know if that one would work, but it could. I was just asking, dollar store Skittles. Love I don't it. like that. I love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh god that's great, that's, great. That's, that's awesome you know the store brand kind of knockoff it would be kind of it kind of be one note yeah. kind of thing yeah <laughs> Kind of like Mountain Thunder, it's the generic brand of Mountain Dew. Tastes the same. I was gonna say, hey, that Mountain Thunder is the closest to actual <laughs> Mountain Dew as you can get it from a store. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Misty Mountain. <laughs> I had to use I had to use an example. Of look where it gets me. <laughs> Speaking of store brand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, it's 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 sixty eight cents for a two liter, so I don't complain about that. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> hey, shit at, shit at Myers is like what a dollar for a two liter? I don't know. It's more expensive about a gas station than it is anywhere else. Yep. No, I'm talking about the Mountain Thunder. Oh, hell, if I know. Like a dollar for a fucking two liter. And it's what? Five bucks or ten bucks for a 24 pack? Yep. No, yeah, something like that. A 12 pack. Probably that something like that. We've, we've got normal boo in there right now because that shit's been on sale. <coughs> All right, yeah. You're right, you're right. We've been able to afford, you know. We've been able to splurge in luxury because of the shit's been on fucking sale. <laughs> yeah. Like twelve bucks for a fucking twenty-four pack. Yeah, does that also include the Pepsi? Yeah, Pepsi, pro uh, Pepsi brand. 
if you want some testing. I'll never forget when somebody asked me that when I was helping when yeah. I was working as a custodian at uh, my old school. Amy, uh, Amy was the girl's name. She looks at me and is like, you want some Pepsi? I look at her like, the fuck you just asked me? You want some Pepsi? <laughs> um, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. And she goes on to explain that since usually some of the uh, Japanese have a hard time saying certain brands. It's like, okay. <laughs> Like okay, I've never heard that before. <laughs> Chris, don't get any ideas. Just go to that. Kill the poor guy, Jesus. Imagine my dad told him you want some coke. You want some coke? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm going off track here. No, I was actually about to reference that video of the, uh, that the woman Swedish. trying to instruct her, like, doing that class on how to say, you want coke? Oh, like, is that the Family Guy episode or no, something? No, it's, it's, there's a video of a woman, I don't know, she's, uh, I can't remember if she's Korean or Japanese, but she's trying to teach people that are trying to learn English how to ask, do you want coke? Oh, and it God. sounds like she's saying cop. And, and, and like, it's clear that the video is it, like it. It looks like it's a legit, you know, that like she's saying, you know, you want to cough, but she actually a couple times says coke, and she actually pronounces it right. But then she goes back and says, oh, I want to cough, and it's like, we already said coke. We know you can say coke. Do so I go back and say, oh, I want to cough? <laughs> no, you can say coke. We've heard it a couple times in the video already. Like, you can't go back and say, I want to call. No, you can say the O. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, I'm referring, I'm now referring back to the flashback of Family Guy with the Swedish chef, with the Swedish chef, where it can't say dough or egg. Or pie. Fjord Bakery. Or, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fjord's Bakery. <laughs> oh, no. You're covered in my hot pee. <laughs> just made cock made, uh, I just had a cock made out of the fresh tea. <laughs> I love Fjord. One of, oh, one of my God. favorite, most underrated characters. <laughs> Fjord's Bakery. <laughs> Oh no! You're covered in my hot pee! <laughs> oh, what a return. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we need to let Mark know that we're back and we're up and running again. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to do anything next week because it's, you know, 4th of July. But next week we'll probably do something else. See if at some point this week we can run up to your vapor shop or your vape shop and talk to Pat and see if we can work out some sort of a deal and have a couple flavors. This upcoming week? The one that we're about to come into, yeah. One second, okay. hold on. Be right back. Oh, before I forget, Chris, um, the nice thing is uh, that vape shop that he mentioned, the inline vape, inline vapor that I've been trying to get a job at. The cool thing is, uh, the first time you're on, you remember me telling you about the first line, how they had all the different flavors. They have all three yeah. uh, Blizzard flavors up there. 
and two of the uh, first two of flavors that we haven't had yet. I was like, yes, thank you, God. <laughs> I mentioned I mentioned to try out those burger flavors and see how see how strong see how strong they are. They've also got a uh, uh, bad drip up there. The cool thing is the larger uh, bad drip. No, the bad drip bottles actually come in uh, pill style bottles, like giant pill bottles that actually have everything on it. It's actually really cool. And I'm a dad. Don't you tell me what to do? Well... Getting to, be to, getting to be about that time for you, Chris? Yeah, it is. It's just about... It's uh, almost 11 here at 10 till. Oh shit! Yeah, it's uh, it's ten to twelve up here, eleven fifty. Yeah. I was. I, I'm not gonna lie. I almost couldn't tell if it was night or day out because you got that bright ass light behind you. Almost looks like the sunshine coming in through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I use that as a, a backlight when I'm mixing on it. But you can see my my camera rig that I was telling you about, or that I sent you the picture of. Oh yeah, I do like that. I do like that. So what? Does it? Does it uh, Besides the boom arm, did it come with a special USB cable that plugs right into your phone to the computer and you can switch out the cameras at any time? Or did the cable come? No, it, uh, it's, it's just the boom. I, uh, my, uh, it'll actually hold my, my big camera on it. It's actually sturdy enough to hold it, but it's really designed for cell phones. But it's got a little screw-on clamp at the top of it. You just record to the memory on the phone, and then and then you can move that through the speed. Okay. But if I had a long enough cord, I could actually put my big camera on it, but I wouldn't have any way to record audio on it. It's it's strictly video. The way it's on it. Uh, right. <clears throat> It's bad or something because I keep picking up a radio station every time I try to use it. So. Oh, that's okay. I have uh, so the camera that I've been using. There's a camera built. In, there's a, a microphone built into it, and this one that I thought I've been using, I haven't been. <laughs> yeah. So all the audio was going straight through the <laughs> webcam. So because I've got my camera right here and my monitor right here. Anytime I would put a video up, it would play through the stream and then through my camera. So it would be incredibly pitchy. Now I'd recommend getting something like this. Well, I picked up... Like this, was, this was a pretty good mic. I got this off of Amazon for like, I don't know, like 80, like 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, this is an too. Oni or an Oni or oh, whatever you call it. It's come from Walmart, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come from Walmart for 20 bucks. Yeah, those are pretty good. Hey, as long as it works, that's all that matters. <clears throat> A lot better than using the one on the headset that all you hear is, is me vaping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> those are fun ones, though. Yeah. Oh, it's especially fun when you hop into a match on Call of Duty or something and you just hit your vape and somebody starts bitching at you about it. I'm sorry, it ain't my fault my yeah. my tanker already ate so loud and, my, and I've got my headset mic all the way out to here and you can still hear it. Not my problem. 
If you're gonna do that, can you mute your mic? Yeah, that's what it was like. The, the last time I was on with you guys, I watched part of the playback on it to see how choppy my video was, and I could all I could hear every time I would do it was that that whistle off of the um, off of the nano. Damn. Every time I would try to use it. <clears throat> oh, I need to go. I don't even know if you guys can hear me hit on my vape. I can't. You can hear the pop a little bit I, on it, but you don't really I hear can, the the air much. Right. I can barely hear you hit that, Jake. Like, literally. I can barely hear you hit that. Now, oddly enough, I can't hear the whistle or the airflow from Chris, but I can hear I can hear that sizzle, then the intake, and that's it. Yeah, I can hear it a little bit right there. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the fat fish. That's that's with the microphone all the way over here, ar full arm's length away. That's what it sounds like on it, but you don't really hear the bonza very much. I love my Zeus. And the bulk's pretty quiet too. I especially love them all right now because it's not fucking burnt. Like I definitely need to change that coil out of my fucking valerian. I really haven't put it in the bus stop, but besides our usual that we've been that we'd like to have on here, I wonder if we could get a hold of Vape and Bogan. As crazy as that dude is. Um He's probably got a website like an email address <laughs> on his channel or something. I'm sure he does. I know Vic does. For any inquiries and comments of what he of what he would like us to do for Vic. Well Vic you actually the best way to get in touch with him is to go to his actual website. Oh, I didn't need um, And message him through it. Um, okay. Uh, the address that he has on his channel is for business inquiries. That would be if you were paying him. Ah. All right. That's the uh, vaping you, with you, Vic. And the thing with Bogan life. is you've got to remember it's tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Bogan is you got to remember that it's... Uh, Five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, he's in Australia, and he's in Australia. I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Bogan's in Australia. He's in uh, Adelaide, I think. I know I got St as a friend on Facebook. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, ST's in, in, in Tennessee. ST's in Tennessee? You can send Yep. You can send Vic a friend request on Facebook, too. He'll... Probably about 90% chance he'll accept. He accepts most people onto it. I'll never forget, uh... After... I saw that Jake sent SD in and uh, friend request. I did too. And like the first picture I saw is he went out and bought himself a fucking drone. Because I know a couple yep. of the episodes they've been talking about drones and giving shit to Mark about him flying a drone around the neighborhood looking at the neighbor neighbor's trailers and whatnot. <laughs> I saw that I was like, oh my god, now everybody's going to be getting a fucking drone and <laughs> flying it around. <laughs> I've almost been tempted to send ST a comment saying you ever go spy on Mark in his front yard yet? <laughs> I mean, granted, that drone's not going to have that much of a range. Yeah. ST's actually got some pretty good footage from the from uh, the 
from the drone on his uh, second channel. I didn't even know. He's got about a 10-minute video of it flying over his neighborhood. Oh, nice. Yeah. ST's got a second channel. Uh, Fagan's got a second channel. Mike's actually got two channels. Or three channels total. He's actually got huh. two extras. Interesting. See, I might make up one for myself. Call it insane and bait. You know, in case we don't do one like this. Mm. I mean, even if we do, but we just kind of focus <clears> on, <throat> like, building and stuff. I mean, I know you could kind of even even set one up with just your local vaping. I actually have, I, that's actually what I changed my original YouTube channel to, from Galen Murphy to local vaping streaming. Uh... Oddly enough, I don't. I hardly ever stream on there because I'm so because I'm doing so much streaming on the Twitch. Doesn't say you're on your Xbox more than anything, really. PlayStation, actually. Oh. I have Twitch set up on my Xbox and my PlayStation. Oh, I mean now with with you know on Xbox, Twitch is really the only main going to be the only main streaming platform. I don't know how they're going to incorporate Facebook gaming into into that with Mixer being converted over yeah like i'm kind of excited for it because that means like now you can stream free facebook which i've honestly been wanting you know that's the whole reason why i come in and i got that capture card so that we can stream to facebook to our, our streaming pages but you know now with mixer becoming facebook gaming i'm kind of curious to see how that whole thing will work Yep. But no, now that I've got the, the, the coil set and everything, you know, I'll probably set up my, you know, my own page, you know, do something for me on my own. Now that I've got the stuff that I needed to make my own coil, you know, I just kind of go in and set, you know, set up my own channel and everything. Uh, Stuff like that. You know, that'd be an interesting thing. That okay? I literally just fucking came up with like a really dope logo. Or not like logo, but like, you know how everybody's got their, their intro animation. See, that's what I'd like to do for my videos if I ever streamed or something, or just did like a small edit once I get into it, some kind of intro video. Yours, I could see a fucking face popping through, like, as long as it looks like he's, like, crazy. Popping through the fucking cloud. Just with that, like... <laughs> one full GI, one little eye, and just fucking, like, you know, out smile. Love your old name, Bean. It's sad, but true, I could see that. That actually, and that also gives me an idea, too, Jake. If we were to do that... We could both. See, that would that would actually be a per, that actually be pretty a pretty good idea because we could both get the same RDA or whatever we're looking at, run it for a week, then we then uh, jump on here on our Saturday nights like we all like we always do or want to get back into, and we exchange our thoughts to our viewers and what we personally think about what we're running. Yeah, I could do a build on my channel. Like how I would set my RDA up because I'd probably just make a standard coil for right now. And then I could do one on my channel with what they provide, or also a standard build, and then we I mean, just kind of do a comparison. You've got, I mean, you've got a drill, and you've got the ability to make fucking twisted coils if you wanted to. True. You know, see how you can do something like that, or you could get like a pack of used plastic. You know, and then, with the standard stuff, and you could do the right and shit like see, that. But you see where I'm going with that. Yeah. I kind of like that. I actually like that idea. I really do. We but just like Vic, we get what we like. You do your build, I'll do mine. We run them for a week. 
and see what we think of them and then share it to everybody on the ch on this on Saturday night and give our give our pros give our con what we think of it and if they like it go ahead and look up what the retail price is kind of like Vic does yeah and go from there and see if it'd be something that you're interested in I say we do that I kind of because I mean then, like what I could even do is, especially like when I get the the my partition that I've been wanting to get, mm -hmm. I could have it set up to where my table back here, this one back here that's got all the shit on it. Um, I could have this be where I do all my building and shit. I mean, I could I also use it. I could also use this other desk, just have a little tripod and you know camera set up right there. I honestly think that would be a little easier. But we have, but you'd have to move stuff around, though. <laughs> and and Chris, it would give you two extra people to subscribe to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like I don't have enough people that I already subscribed to. <laughs> no. But you know, I think I've probably... got like a hundred and fifty on. On my personal. <laughs> yeah. And actually, Jake, now that I think about it, we could you could use you could use this your StreamYard page to do it on your channel along with Facebook for a Facebook group, and I could easily do it for my YouTube channel and my Mr. Gaming Bait for Facebook as well. I mean, because yeah, yours yours is literally a basically a a double whammy when it comes to a Facebook page. You you game yeah. and you vape. So you can literally just set all your stuff up to go to your, your Mr. Game and Vape page and you know, I'd probably set one up that's just insane vape. Hell yeah, I can dig it. I say we look I say we do that in the near uh, in the upcoming future. See if I can have Snow make me a my own special banner. Yep. That'd be some cool. That'd be cool shit. I'd I can dig do, it. I'd probably do my stuff on like, uh, like Thursday night. Like right after we get the kids to bed, do something like that on Thursday night. Right. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, I kind of like that idea. I can dig it. then we can talk about you know we got this stuff you know you'll see us both do a review for this the next week like we would get stuff review it for the, the, the week and then do a tag team review of it the following week not that upcoming because it doesn't really you know me getting stuff and doing stuff on Thursdays doesn't right. really give a full amount of time to you know go through and you know, actually you know, exploit its weak its pros and cons exactly and plus that would also give you time to work out any like say for example if you're using a some kind of random mesh RTA and you're having a hard time getting the or just some kind of RTA and you're having a hard time getting the juice to flow and soak up that if you do it for a week that gives you time to go back and perfect that wicking to actually get it to soak up perfectly to where you're not getting any dry hits yeah i mean and then also if we got like if we ended up working things out with pat and we got you know to where we could each get a couple of different liquids i mean maybe even some hardware you know i could do my stuff on thursdays and you could do yours i don't know like tuesdays or something i can deal with it I can work it with it. You know, and then we could go over, you know, the liquid that we got, and then the hardware if we get any, you know, stuff like that. We could do that on our, our two separate days, and then come together the following week and do the stuff we need for that. Hell yeah, I can, I can, I can work with that wholeheartedly. I like that idea. I really do. We'll probably start that up probably August. Alrighty just to kind of give us a little bit of time to fall into the pattern. 
and if need be get get the materials that we need hopefully by then maybe a desk and myself a boom arm of some kind preferably what chris has got yeah, maybe a the Onis, Onis are really good. Like, you, like Onis, my, uh, mics, their keyboards, their mouse. Well, I've still got that, uh, I, that HyperX quadcast. Uh, I Hyperbond. think they've got cameras too. Ah, uh, okay. That's what I was getting at. I know they've uh, got, they've got that whole setup, but I don't, okay. know, I don't, I think they've got cameras. I can always check our, uh, Amazon and see what they got. I, you know, you know Amazon. You can always find a good deal on there. I mean, you, don't you also have that, like, that really, really solid one? The the one that we were using when we were doing this back in the old house? Uh, my, my old camera that I was using? Yeah. Uh, what, that 780? That 780 one? No, the newer one that you got. When you got the, the HyperX, you got that camera, too. Oh yeah, I'm using it right now. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, that'd be the Logi. Yeah, Logi is what's called the HD 1080p. Yeah, that's what I'm currently using. I'd probably use that for like I am now, then have uh, another setup as a boom arm, kind of like Chris has, and uh, so that way I can I can start learning how to switch between base then over the top. And one of the cool things that I figured out about StreamYard, and I'll, I'll let you use my StreamYard, I really don't care. Uh, I, I really don't. All, you, all I gotta do is give you my email address, and it sends me a code, and I'll just give you the code, and you don't <coughs> have to do it again. Ah, oh, cool. You can go in and you can record a video in this. Because I did it earlier on Nerd's Corner. Kitty and I were in here and we did a breakdown of the, the starter set that she got for D&D. &D. We went, she went over all the stuff that she got in the starter set and the, uh, the essential kit. And we did a video and we posted that into the Facebook page and on the and in the group too. And instead of setting it up to broadcast, you just skip and record. And you can record a video like this. So you don't always have to do a live show. You can just jump in, record, and post it. Okay. But no, like I, I, I see, I see some some good coming from having split shows where I've got one and then you've got one, and then we come together the following week to review what it was that we got. Right. You think that would help draw more people in? Maybe. Who knows? I'm not saying it will, but... I mean, it'll give us, like, if, if we end up, like, getting, you know, the Fagan status, or, like, you know, like, Fagan, Fogan, ST, Mike Bay, like, if we got to that status, you might be contacted by, like, I don't know. Let's say G-Fagan. Or Geek or Bandy yeah. Bait. Yeah, no, you, you like you get contacted by Geek Bait to do your own like tank RDA, RTA, RDTA. You know, you get contacted by them. You could come up with your own build for a deck. I could come up with my own. I've already got a dozen ideas that I could do for one specifically, like following the theme of my name. And then, you know, we'd have the tag team one that we might do together. You know, just kind of have that kind of a thing set up. I could see a I lot get, of, I could see some benefit coming from having two different channels and then right. together in tag team. Right. Oh, that is not good. I don't, I don't know, Chris. How do you, what do you think about that? Do you think that sounds like a pretty solid idea? Yeah, actually, it does. It's. It's kind of the same thing that, like, what, um, I mean, they don't do stuff together necessarily, but, like, what Mark does with Brian and ST and Mike, you know, they have their own channels. And then they, you know, they do their live show together, and, and they don't do it anymore, but once a time they used to do, um, reviews, you know, where both of them would do reviews together. 
Right. <clears throat> In fact, actually, um, Brian and Mark did the the original Bonza that way, where they both built it and then uh, shot a review together. Huh, and then I didn't put know the that. footage in it. it. It's about three years old when oh, the first shit. one came out. <laughs> Back when Brian was still actually reviewing stuff. Yeah. You know, I'll, uh, I'll probably set my channel up and everything. I'll probably just do a couple, like, build videos here and there. Just to kind of get my stuff set up, but then, like, do the actual, like, um, like the live stream later on. Just to kind of get, you know, get, get a ball rolling. So that way, you know, now I'm out there. And then, Galen, you could do your own stuff on your separate channel. And get right. Up there. Jamie's out here, by the way. Yeah, I noticed. <clears throat> Hell, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out. Jake, a perfect start for you would be... Uh, a perfect start and introduction to your channel would be doing a rebuild on that uh, recoil. Yeah. Oddly enough, I actually did check that recoil box. There, I forgot that there's another barrel, airflow barrel, and it and it has smaller holes to it for more of a restrictive view. Uh, airflow, I mean. Yeah. Got, that's my Freemax up there. The Valerian is in my desk. Mm. I mean, for fuck's sake, Jake, if there's anything in here that you want to work with building on, you're more than welcome to do it to give you some practice if it's something that I haven't already done. I think the only thing that I would need to get from you is the the only trigger. <laughs> Those uh, utility tweezers I have will work perfect for you. started just uh, message me or whatever and I'll definitely shoot you a sub cool I'm build my, fucking rebuild my, my recoil and throw it on this old son bitch actually uh, Chris I think you already tossed out a sub to uh, my local vaping streaming channel if I'm not mistaken um, I know I got you on this one, but I don't think I've got you on the other one. Because hmm. the only game channel that I'm subscribed to is, um, uh, is Patrol Gaming. Hmm. But I subscribe to him because he does, because he does, uh, video reactions. You should, check out, you should check out Nerd Corner. That's my other podcast. We got a thing that we're doing that's going to be Facebook uh, YouTube exclusive. It's called Nerds Unhidden. Pretty much anything and everything goes pretty much. We all just sit around, drink, shoot the shit, watch stupid videos. The other night, uh, uh, Last night I introduced everybody to Yu Gi Oh! BBT. That was, that was pretty Oh, funny. God, I'll never, for, I'll never forget the looks that Snow was giving you. I didn't know if he was going to die laughing or Jamie. what. 
What are you doing? By the bathroom door. What, Jamie? Mm -hmm. Oh god, she's quick. <clears throat> Oh, she's not going to get in Duke's litter. That's my worry now. <laughs> you want to open your door keep an eye on him? Yeah. I mean, I'd probably say it's about that time anyway, Jake. Yep. We've been doing this for almost two, two hours and five minutes. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Oh, my ass. It's really all that worried about oh. doing our traditional sign off right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. Chris, as always, thank you for showing up. Love having you on the uh, show. Uh, no problem, guys. Enjoyed it. Yep, it's thanks. A trip, right? <clears throat> yep, thanks again for joining us tonight, my man. Always a pleasure. Anytime you want to come on, yep. let us know. Uh, no problem. It's always a trip when you come in, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. I wouldn't. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Yep. Well... I appreciate you guys having me on. Oh, no hey, worries. No, no problem. problem. Glad to have you. Yep. Well, until next time, you guys. Tag Team Vapors. I am Jake Insane Vape. And I'm Galen Loco Vaping Murphy. We are Tag Team Vapors, and we are tagging, tagging out. out. Till next time, y'all.